Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading, July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump straight away to the spread. So the first card which represents the topic for uh, Leo week, that is going to be the Five of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Leo have to overcome here. We do have the uh, Moon card and very interesting just with the first couple of cards here. Then the third one which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week, we do have the Knight of uh, Swords. And the last one which is the guidance that you, uh, Leo, have, uh, should follow, or rather what the Tarot has for you as a guidance, is going to be the King of Cups. All right, so once again, let's go through the cards. The first one is going to be the Five of Cups, which stands for the topic. Afterwards, we do have the Challenges. This is going to be the Moon card. Then it is the um, Knight of Swords, which is the positive aspect. And at, the, at last, we do have the King of Cups, which is the Guidance. So Leo, it seems that despite um, the turn of events, you are going to be rather encouraged, uh, either most likely uh, through a, a faithful companion, companion to keep on pushing. And yeah, that week itself, it seems that is going to present you with rather unfortunate circumstances, or I would, ex I would say unexpected circumstances, all right? with the Five of Cups, meaning that things are not going to really develop the way you have expected. They're not going to develop necessarily in a bad way, but it's it's gonna be more like, well, what I'm gonna do with this, you know? It's just, it's, it, it's gonna catch you a bit unprepared. So what may come to your mind is to salvage the situation, you know, either with your career or either with your relationship, friendship, marriage, you name it, and to try out something different. Now, that is exactly what you should not do. But instead, you know, you should push, try to push even harder. Because the first couple of cards here are the, cup, are the cards in tarot, these couple of cards, are the cards in tarot which points that one should not deviate from their original path. No matter how baffled it seems, no matter how vague it seems as well, you know, no, no matter how helpless or hopeless it does seems, one should put everything one got to, uh, to push harder and further with it. But let's, uh, for now, leave the Moon card aside and let's focus on the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups does represent a, a partial loss, okay? A loss uh, which definitely is regainable. 
and in your case here it does look like this is going to be an emotional loss it's not going to be on a material one so it's like it's more related to a, a a disappointment than anything else and you should not allow a, a disappointment to stray you off your goal the accompanied card here is going to be the moon card the the full card excuse me and uh, the formation it is a, a passive neutrals so what the fool here gives us it's uh, or tells us is that you need to be a little bit more uh, detached from the situation not take the things way too serious and way too personal for that matter uh, it's uh, more beneficial for you to take the things more carefree in a more carefree fashion and as well to take or to look on this circumstances which are making you disappointment more as a uh, opportunity you know to uh, develop either a new strategy or to give a, a new uh, stir to a, an idea which could not be executed previously with the previous circumstances so in reality what we can see with these couple of cards is that yeah the situation may not be what you have expected but in the same time, the situation itself, uh, itself gives you a, an, an opportunity, you know, to shape something even better, I would say it that way. Now it's going to require a, a determination, it's going to require efforts as well. It's not going to be something that will simply going to happen with, uh, with the snap of your fingers. Uh, but it's going to worth it, right? And maybe that will be exactly the new beginning that you uh, that you needed and that you wanted. But <clears throat> the challenges themselves are going to be marked by the moon card. And the moon card, I don't want to lie to you guys, it's kind of a lot to be overcome. Because the moon card, it points that the circumstances are going to be shrouded in mystery. And it's very likely that you may feel threatened. Threatened in a sense that you may feel that your marriage, for example, it, you are losing grasp upon your marriage, you are losing grasp upon your career unfoldment as well and career progress. You are losing grasp upon your project, upon your friendships as well and everything is going to seem like falling apart, all right? Or not exactly falling apart, but like out of control. <clears throat> And that is for the reason being is that the circumstances are not what you have expected. But you need to give yourself a time, you know, but if you want to say to think about it. And uh, how can I describe it? And the more you think about it, the more sense that whole thing, that whole situation uh, is going to start adopting all right the more sense is going to start becoming obvious into the situation itself the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, five of uh, pentacles and now we can say why this is uh, this is happening because such formed circumstances which were kind of unexpected are raising more questions than giving an answers they are presenting more minor obstacles you know than actually resolving problems so what we can say here is is that at the start of these or as these circumstances develop throughout the week either into your career and either into your marriage um, it seems or into your relationship life it seems that you are going to see them firstly extremely negatively like they are something that brings you down instead of as a thing of opportunity but the five of pentacles points that happiness and success resides in many different gazes and that's why we should not be biased but instead try to work out with what we already have this is the challenge for you guys to work with what you have everybody wants to to have exceptional means to work with so they can get their goal but sometimes that's impossible and we can work with just so much and that will be your challenge so this leads us to the next card which points to the uh, positive aspect and this is going to be the knight of swords so we do have a person not necessarily a man but most likely all right a person with quite so flexible and agile mind someone who is very courageous in nature someone who does not give up and this is what that person is going to do encourage you 
not to give up. Not to mention that it seems that they are going to as well try to deliberate with you upon the situation itself, try to find a way out, if you want to say it that way, and will help you to make a major decisions because it seems that this, I would say guy, but again, it could be a woman, you know, will never going to encourage you to neglect your uh, your emotions. I mean, it seems that at the end, whatever deliberations you do together, uh, the decision that you're going to make based on those deliberations is going to make most sense out of everything else. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles. And uh, I, that, that looks very promising, although the... Um, the combination it is a active enemies that we do have so uh promising in a sense of that you and that person itself are going to realize you know that this help which the person gives you is just only a uh, how can i describe it it's a partial thing in a sense of that yeah they help you with encouraging you you know also helping you through uh deliberating um, your strategies you know and deliberating how you're going to get, uh, how you're going to make use of these new circumstances. But at the end of the day, you're going to understand that this person cannot make the job done for you. Okay, you will have to roll up your sleeves and get to work. And this itself is going to give you a lot of drive to, to, to put the things in order to, to settle the score, if you want to say it that way, and to um, approach this new circumstances with rather exceptionally creative fashion which will amaze a lot of people at work you know which will amaze as well uh, your partner into relationship or your wife or a husband or your children you know or your friends as well simply you're going to show up that whatever it is thrown at you from the fate from the universe or from different people you simply can handle and that is what matters the most and the last card for you guys is going to be the King of uh, Cups, which represents the uh, guidance here, which Tarot gives you. And the King of Cups urges you to be to approach the fashion, the the, the matter either, um, rather in with a professional fashion, uh, even if this is about your relationship as well. So the King of Cups, even though a Cups card, uh, it does not act emotionally upon the situation. The King of Cups is the patriarch of emotions, meaning that they control their emotions to outer extent, right? They, they never are caught off guard with, uh, with emotional matters and therefore they, know they don't outburst, which means you should not outburst, nor they take a decisions based on an emotional urge, but rather they try to be professional with uh, their decision making as well balanced if you want to say it that way as well and additionally to that the card urges you uh, and tells you uh, leo that there is no need for you to uh, push off a helping hand the helping hand of this guy and i'm saying that i'm no astrologer not at all but throughout my career you know i do kind of like I have listened to astrologers and so on and so forth and I know that Leo can be very proud and probably this is why the card comes around here that you maybe this week you will have to put your pride on the shelf and just listen to what someone who is going to rally you have to say the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, eight of cups in the formation, it is a passive uh, supporters. So Eight of Cups, it's uh, to the King of Cups, it's a very positive thing because it kind of points to a lack of belief into the doom and gloom. And uh, should you master out your emotions and your temper above everything else, you are going to find out a, a way how you can traverse, you know, these completely surprising circumstances which you are going to undertake as a failure at the start, you know, into a, a very productive drive and a very productive uh, push moving on forward, traversing or transforming the situation in... Uh, uh, or transforming the situation in a, a very positive undertaking. 
So that being said, guys, uh, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July uh, 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.